Tapestry-Interiors.com. Today, I'm here to share with you one of my trade secrets for loving where you live and making your home a sanctuary. So today, I want to tell you about buying furniture. And I always say, go as high-end as you can. It might be hard for you to part with those dollars uh, when you're buying a piece, but you will not regret it when it comes to living with it and enjoying it for its lifetime. Whereas when you don't buy the quality piece, you will probably be disappointed in it. So, high-end upholstery. It is made to last and it's also made to be a lot more comfortable to sit on. And that's because they use um, better ingredients to make it. They use the right type of spring because there's several different kinds and you can go with the, you know, the zigzaggy one for certain things or the one that has to get hand tied and each piece is going to need a little bit different. So then there's also better foam that they can use and hardwood frames versus things that even have cardboard in them. And unfortunately with the upholstery, you can't see the inside. You're just looking at the shape of it and the fabric that they have on it. So what you have to do is kind of go around and, and feel on the arm and, and turn it over and ask about how these things are made and hopefully the salesperson gives you some honest answers. Then um, high-end case goods, otherwise known as the wood furniture, such as end tables and dressers, um, they will have much more finish options when you go higher end and those finishers will be very clear and beautiful instead of kind of cloudy. Um, and then the drawers are made to function very easily and will last for years to come. I have a drawer with me right now to give you an idea. And I think a lot of people kind of know about this already, but I'm just going to go over it in case. Um, with wood furniture, it's a lot more easy to find out if it's quality or not because you can feel how thick the bottom piece of wood is, whether or not it's been dovetailed. Um, feel the inside if it's, if it's rough, it's been, you know, smooth. So you get a feel for the furniture by kind of taking the wood pieces apart. Then you know whether or not you're buying quality. And so, I also have to say that I love antiques. You can usually find better quality pieces for less money in an antique store. Uh, you just have to look out for dressers because sometimes a uh, quality piece was stored in a damp place for a while and then the drawer kind of warps and it doesn't quite function anymore. So that's just one thing to look out for with antiques. And also, I wanted to point out that in the early 1900s, we were just starting to figure out mass production. And so a lot of the veneers that we did at that time did not hold up. They haven't lasted the way they should, and I think it's given all veneer a bad name, but in reality, we have come light years from where that was. We know so much more about the right kinds of glues that are stronger to, to use for veneer and also different drying processes and, and other things in the manufacturing. So veneer is actually stronger than hard, solid woods. Um, and it's a, it's a misconception that it's a, got a, a bad name. So, okay. I can't wait to share with you the next step for loving where you live. And I invite you back to learn more about kitchen organization.